everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to our Book A Day series celebrating Pride Month. Today is the fourth book of the week, and this sparkly read aloud is going to be about gender stereotypes. Now, gender, my friends, means boy or girl. That's when we're talking about man, woman, boy or girls, different genders. Stereotypes means what people think that boys and girls should do or should be like, but those things aren't actually true. In this book, we are going to read about this little boy who loves wearing and dressing up in sparkly things. I have my own sparkle shirt here. And he loves wearing sparkly dresses, skirts, jewelry, all these sparkly things that his sister likes to wear too. And we're gonna be reading about what, what some of the other people in his family and other people around him think about that and how he feels about it too. Now, my friends, since this book is all about some sparkly things, if you have anything sparkly to wear that you want to throw on, or if you have any sparkly toys, stuffies that you want to grab as a reading buddy for this interactive read aloud, I suggest you pause the video and go throw on your sparkle outfit or get your sparkle toys. All right, well, if you have your sparkle things, go ahead and give them a little shake to show those sparkles. Excellent. So we are going to be reading about how boys and girls can wear whatever they want. And as long as they feel happy expressing themselves and sharing who they are with the world, that's what matters most. Hands on your hip if you're ready to begin. Fantastic. Let's get started. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is Sparkle Boy, written by Leslie Newman and illustrated by Maria Mola. So that means that Leslie Newman wrote all of the words and the illustrator Maria Mola did what? Made all of the pictures we are going to see. Now what's cool about the picture on this cover here, my friends, is that if I feel the letters of Sparkle Boy and if I feel the skirt and if I kind of take a close look, you can see it's shiny, it's sparkly for Sparkle Boys. That's kind of a cool design that the illustrator helped to create. And what do you notice about our Sparkle Boy here? Yes, he's wearing some sparkly outfits, right? He has this sparkle skirt on. What else is he wearing that's sparkly? Yeah, I see he's got some sparkle bracelets on. His fingernails look sparkly. Maybe he got some glitter nail polish on. He's got a necklace on that might be a little bit sparkly. Now, according to gender stereotypes, what people believe that boys and girls should do and wear, do you normally see boys wearing all of these sparkly things that our sparkle boy is wearing? No, right. According to gender stereotypes, what people think boys should wear, what do most people think boys should wear? Right. Shorts, pants, shirts. They usually don't wear sparkly skirts or have a nail polish on. That's what some people think. But like we talked about, stereotypes mean that they're not true. So that means that boys can really wear whatever they want to wear. Same as girls should be able to wear whatever makes them feel happy and makes them feel like them. Okay, my friends, if you are a girl or a boy, have you ever worn any of these sparkly things that Sparkle Boy is wearing? I've worn sparkly skirts and I have sparkly earrings. Sometimes I wear bracelets and nail polish too. Okay, well, let's read about our Sparkle Boy. So here's our title page. It has the title of our book and the author and the illustrator, and it's published by Lee and Lo Books. So that means that Lee and Lo Books helped make this book. They printed the pages, put the book together so that we can all read it. And so here I am seeing, oh, this looks like the little boy from the cover of our book. And who do you think this is? Maybe sister. Jessie adored all things shimmery, glittery and sparkly. Do you like glittery, shiny, sparkly things? Look at my shimmery, sparkly skirt, Jessie said to her little brother, Casey. So Jessie must be the sister. Casey's the little brother. As she twirled into the living room and her skirt twirled out all around her. Casey looked up from his alphabet blocks. Ooh, shimmery, shimmery, he said, reaching out his hand. I want shimmery. So what does Casey want? Looks like he wants his sister's shimmery skirt because it's shiny. Hmm. 
Well, Jessie stopped twirling and her skirt stopped twirling too. You can't have a shimmery skirt, Casey, she said. Why not? Why can't Casey have a shimmery skirt? Why? Casey asked. Because boys don't wear shimmery skirts, said Jessie. Right, Mama? Oh, point to Mama on the page. There she is. So what do you think Mama's going to say? Mama thought for a minute. If Casey wants to wear a skirt, Casey can wear a skirt, she said. I don't have a problem with that. And why would anyone have a problem with that, right, friends? If Casey wants to wear a skirt, Casey should be able to wear a skirt. But Jessie thinks, what does Jessie think? Jessie thinks that boys shouldn't be able to wear skirts. But Mama says if Casey wants to, should be able to. And on this page, what do you notice? Casey has a sparkly skirt on, kind of like on the cover of the book. Mama went upstairs and came back down with the skirt that was too small for Jessie. So it used to be Jessie's skirt. Here, buddy, she said to Casey, try this on. Ooh, shimmery, shimmery, Casey said, as he twirled around in his shimmery skirt, and his shimmery skirt twirled all around him. Casey twirled and twirled until he got dizzy and plopped onto his bottom. Casey laughed, but how is Sister Jessie feeling about this? She doesn't look too happy, right? Her arms are folded. Jessie frowned. Why do you think Jessie's feeling kind of upset? She might be a little confused, right? Because she thinks that boys should only wear certain things. And now all of a sudden, Casey's taking her old clothes and wearing them. Well, on this page, it looks like Jessie has something else sparkly. What is she showing Casey that she has that sparkly? Right, it looks like she has some sparkly fingernail polish on. What do you think Casey's going to say when he sees it? He might want some too. The next afternoon, Jessie went to a birthday party. When she came home, she raced into the kitchen. Look at my glittery nails, Jessie said, fanning out her fingers, fanning them out. Can you fan out your fingers? Her nails glittered in the light. Casey looked up from his animal puzzle. Ooh, glittery, glittery, Casey said, pulling Jessie's hands towards him. I want glittery. So Casey wants the glittery nail polish too. What do you think Jessie's going to say? Probably no, right? Glittery nail polish isn't for boys. Oh, new character. Who do you think this is? Maybe Dad. Jessie snatched her hands away. You can't have glittery nails, Casey, she said. Why? Casey asked. Because boys don't wear glittery nail polish, said Jessie. Right, Dad? She asked. Daddy thought for a minute. What do you think Daddy's going to say? Well, most boys don't wear nail polish, said Daddy. But Casey can if he wants to. There's no harm in that. Hmm, I agree with Dad. If Casey wears nail polish, is he hurting anyone if he wears nail polish? Nope. So, there's no problem. Casey can wear nail polish. Why not? Daddy says, well, maybe most boys don't, but he's not hurting anyone, so he should be able to do what he wants. So, what's going on here? Looks like Daddy's painting Casey's nails. And, oh, how is Jesse feeling? Not too happy. Daddy went upstairs and came back with a bottle of glittery polish. Can't you just paint his toenails, Jessie asked, and then make him put on his socks? Wait a minute. Why would she suggest that? Why would she say to paint his nails and put socks on? So no one could see it. That's not a bad idea, Daddy said to Casey. What do you say, pal? So Daddy's like, sure. What do you think, Casey? Do you think Casey's going to like that idea? No, Casey shouted. He held out his hands and kept his fingernails perfectly still while Daddy painted his nails. Ooh, glittery, glittery, Casey said as he spread his fingernails wide and they glittered in the light. Jessie just shook her head. How do you think she's feeling if she just shakes her head? Not too happy about that. Ooh, and what glittery thing does Jessie have on this page? A glittery bracelet. The next morning, Jessie and Casey's grandmother came to visit. 
Abuelita, I like your sparkly bracelet, said Jessie. You can have one. I have plenty, Abuelita said. So Abuelita is another way to say grandma in Spanish. Can you try that? Abuelita. She took off a bracelet and slid it onto Jessie's wrist. Jessie swiveled her arm back and forth. She shook her arm back and forth. Can you swivel your arm like this? It's called swiveling, shaking it back and forth. Jessie swiveled her arm back and forth and watched the bracelet sparkle. <gasps> Casey looked up from his dump truck. Ooh, sparkly, sparkly. Casey said, I want sparkly. And what do you think Jessie's going to say to that? Jessie hit her arm behind her back. You can't have a sparkly bracelet, Casey, she said. Why? Casey asked. And Jessie says, because... Because boys don't wear sparkly bracelets, she said. Right, Abuelita? And what do you think Abuelita's going to say? Abuelita thought for a minute. I've never seen a boy wear a sparkly bracelet, she said. My friends, have you seen a boy wear a sparkly bracelet before? Maybe not, but if you haven't seen one, does that mean that they can't? So Abuelita had said, I've never seen a boy wear a sparkly bracelet until now. And what does Abuelita do? Looks like she gives Casey a bracelet. And what do you notice about Jessie? Abuelita turned to Casey. Here, sparkle boy, she said. She took off another bracelet and slid it onto Casey's arm. There's no reason why Casey can't wear a bracelet, Jesse. He's not hurting anyone, Abuelita said. And That's true, right? If Casey wears a bracelet, is he hurting anyone? Does it matter to anyone else? No, right? Casey's just wearing a bracelet because it makes him happy and that's okay. Ooh, sparkly, sparkly, Casey said as he swiveled his arm, swivel your arm, back and forth and watched his bracelet sparkle. But Jessie just stomped her foot and ran inside. Well, on Saturday, Daddy went grocery shopping and Mom took Jessie and Casey to the library. Jessie came downstairs wearing her shimmery skirt and sparkly bracelet. Her nails glittered in the light. And what do you notice about what Casey is wearing? Looks like he has all his sparkly, shimmery, glittery things on too, right? Soon Mama came downstairs with Casey, and he wore his shimmery skirt and his sparkly bracelet, and his nails glittered in the light too. So it's kind of like Jessie and Casey match, right? Mama, Jessie cried as she thrust her fists onto her hips. Why is Casey dressed like that? Because that's how Casey wants to dress, Mama said. That's what Casey wants to wear? That's what Casey can wear. But that's not how boys are supposed to dress, said Jessie. He looks silly. So Jessie has an idea of what she thinks boys should wear. What do you think she thinks Casey should wear? Right? Probably just pants and a shirt without all that sparkly stuff and no nail polish. I don't think Casey looks silly, Mama said, smiling at Casey. I think Casey looks like Casey. Oh, I like Mama's answer. So what does Mama think about Casey's outfit? Right? She likes it and she thinks Casey just looks like Casey. Casey looks happy to be what he's wearing, so Mama's happy too. And now where are they at? What's the setting of this page? The library, right? See all the books? When Jesse, Casey, and Mama arrived at the library, story time had already started. They sat in the back to listen. After the librarian finished reading, Mama went to the front to check out some books. Jesse and Casey waited for her in the children's room. I like your skirt, a girl said to Jesse. And I like your sister's skirt. Sister's skirt? Wait a minute, does Jesse have a sister? No, she only has Casey, her brother. Why does this little girl think Jesse has a sister? Because Casey's wearing sparkly skirts, sparkly fingernail polish, probably that's what the girl thinks girls normally wear. Well, Jessie didn't say anything. I'm not a sister, Casey said. I'm a brother. You can't be a brother, said the little girl. Why did she say that? 
she thinks he looks like a girl because he's wearing some things normally girls wear. Well, why, asked Casey. Why can't I be a brother? Because you're a girl, she answered. Hmm. I'm a boy, said Casey. You are, an older boy asked. He looked at Casey and then laughed. Hey, look, he called to his friends. This is a boy in a skirt. Why is he laughing at Casey? That's right. They don't normally see boys in their skirts, so he thinks it's different. The boy's friend laughed too. Then he knelt in front of Casey. Dude, he said, you can't go around wearing a skirt. Why? Casey asked. Because you look weird and everyone will laugh at you, he said. Ugh, that doesn't sound very nice. Well, why? asked Casey again. So does Casey understand why he can't wear these sparkly things? No, right? Casey just likes to wear them because it makes him happy. But these boys aren't being too nice to him, are they? Because boys don't wear skirts and nail polish and bracelets. Everyone knows that, the boy said. Right? he asked, turning to Jesse. So here's these boys telling Casey that he can't wear all those sparkly things like girls normally wear. He's asking Jesse, right? And what do you think Jesse's going to say? Hmm. Well, I know that before this, Jesse kind of sounded like the boys, right? Like, Casey, you can't wear this. Casey, you can't wear that. But but now that these boys are teasing Casey, I wonder, I wonder what she's going to say. But if we look at this picture here, what do you notice? Yeah, I see Jessie's got her arm around Casey like she's protecting him. And, hmm. Jessie looked at Casey. His face was scrunching up like it always did right before he started to cry. Well, why can't boys wear skirts and bracelets and nail polish? Jessie asked the boys. Oh, so is Jessie agreeing with the boys? No. Now who does Jessie sound like? Now Jessie sounds like her mom and dad and Abuelita, right? Well, because, said one of the boys, that's just the way it is, said another. Well, not anymore, said Jessie, as she put her arm around Casey's shoulder. Come on, little guy, she said. Let's find Mama and go home. So when the boys say, well, boys can't wear those sparkly things because that's just how it is, what does Jessie say? Well, not anymore. My brother can wear whatever he wants, right? Now, Jessie and Casey adored all things shimmery, glittery, and sparkly. And what do you notice about how Jessie feels now? Yeah, she seems happy. She's playing along with Casey. Doesn't care what he's wearing anymore. So they both like shimmery, glittery, and sparkly things. And they especially liked each other. And what do you notice Jessie doing here? Now she's the one painting Casey's toenails with sparkly nail polish, it looks like. So Jessie's mind changed in this story, right? She used to think one thing and then she thinks something else at the end. What did she use to think about Casey and boys wearing sparkly things? Yeah, and now what did she think at the end of the story? Yes, she thinks and she knows that Boys can wear whatever they want, just like girls can wear whatever they want. Boys should be able to wear sparkly skirts, bracelets, nail polish if it makes them happy. And girls can wear things that boys normally wear if it makes them happy too. But most of all, the important thing is that brother and sister love each other, support each other, and take care of each other no matter what, always and forever. Because that's what makes a family, right? That's what makes a good sister too. The end. So that was the story of Sparkle Boy, my friends, and we got to read about a little boy who likes to wear all sorts of sparkly things and how that's perfectly okay. People can wear whatever makes them happy. My friends, have you ever worn nail polish before if you're a boy or girl? Yeah, anyone can wear nail polish and it makes your nails super pretty and shiny. What is your favorite outfit to wear, my friends? That sounds like a fabulous outfit. Well, remember, whatever you feel like wearing, whatever makes you feel happy and proud inside and outside, then that's a perfect outfit for you. So what's something you liked about this story or learned from this story or enjoyed about this story? Those are all great parts of this story.
Well, I enjoyed how this book encourages us to be ourselves, to share whoever we are with the world. And the people who really care about us, my friends, will love us for who we are, no matter what we decide to wear, no matter what we look like. People who really care for you, who are really your friend and who really love you, will love you no matter what. And people who think that they need to tease you or say that you shouldn't wear this or you should be a certain way, those people aren't people who are your friends. All right, well, that brings us to the end of today's interactive read aloud, my friends. If you have your sparkly things, go ahead and give us one more sparkle shimmer. <laughs> All right, well, we have one more interactive read aloud in this week's Book a Day series, Tomorrow's Last Reading Adventure. So I hope you join me to finish off the week. You can subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of the reading adventures. And also you can find out about some more bookish crafts and book reading adventures on the blog, Instagram, Facebook. All the social media links can be found down below. And if you ever want to share with me, maybe your own sparkle outfits, your own sparkle ideas, or any of your own reading adventures, please reach out to me on the social media links or via email too. You can also find that down below. I love to connect with all of you. Okay, friends. Well, maybe you want to go ahead now and go throw on your most fabulous outfit and go shimmer and shake and twirl around and show off your fashion. That'd be a fun thing to do after reading this story. But until next time, my friends, I hope you go on plenty of reading adventures of your own and hope to see you tomorrow for the last book in our Book A Day series. And until then, happy reading.